my question is a trick because talking about climate change and the environment nowadays could be fashion and uh, it is easy to talk about a disaster for example I'd like to ask about your personal life practically day by day what are the steps you are taking to decrease the impact of your life in the world? My name is Paul Heritage. I'm director of People's Palace Projects. We're here in the People's Palace, which is in the east end of London. Uh, the People's Palace itself was set up originally to promote art and culture and fellowship for the poor of the east end. But now it's a university building used for all sorts of different things. But we're based here. We have our projects office here. We work on cultural projects in the, in the East End with local communities here, as well as abroad, mainly in Brazil, but also in Africa and Eastern Europe. And our aim is to channel arts to promote social justice. João André is a Brazilian artist and teacher who has a, a vast experience, particularly in forms of popular culture. And he helped me to understand the difference between work that really is generated from the roots of popular culture and the sort of NGO work that I'd done for many years, which tends to be from the outside going in, however much it's participatory based. And the forms of popular culture in Brazil are already so strong, they have their own structures. And Joao helped me to, un to, to visit the Amazon region and to understand how those structures work. Joao André's question literally goes to the essence of what we're all talking about. Because he's asking me what I, what I am really doing to re reduce the impact of my life on the world. It's that personalization, I think, of the, of the cultural politics around environmental action that reminds me, I suppose, of the work that we did 20 years ago and have still carried on doing around AIDS and HIV, which is, was always about taking a sort of political and cultural action around our own activities. What did we do to change? And I think, for me, uh, cultural, uh, environmental cultural activism has been a return, a, a reminder of that deep personal intensity. I think the question is also extraordinary because it's about disappearance. Um, it's about how can we move towards our own disappearance in somehow a positive way. Um, that, that by reducing our impact, we cease to want to place ourselves out there, which is almost the complete opposite of what every artist does <laughs> in the sort of traditional Western notion of since the Renaissance we have of the individual artist. What am I doing about it? I can only talk about it in practical ways. Uh, I suppose the Project Amazonia that we did um, was an example of the sort of partnership that Joao himself indicates is our solution if we're going to be able to work together on this. And working with existing cultural forms, rather than, as we did with Amazonia, working with the, the dance drama forms of the Amazon region. So working with them as local artists in order to produce work that would deal with the impact on their environment rather than us as artists from outside making that work. And I think when, when Joao talks about the strategies and partnerships and structures we need to set up, certainly that what I've taken from working in the Amazon region has been about how that connectedness is the only way which we can hope to work. Uh, in any way to forward. I think also uh, a constant realization that it's about, this work is about form and it's about structure and it's about the ways of doing rather than being about content and what is said. And I think that Jerome himself has almost answered his own, his own question, but it has to be in the quality and the, 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 the ways in which we form those partnerships.